A special photo exhibition about Japan's wartime sex slavery uh, was held in Seoul recently, and it features photos and testimonies of victims both from South and North Korea. Yi Min Sun was there and files this report. In 1992, two women from South and North Korea embraced one another at a hearing held in Tokyo. They were victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery, and the moment symbolized the unity between two Koreas in seeking redress from the injustices they suffered during the colonial era. The picture is now on display in central Seoul as part of a special photo exhibition of comfort women from both South and North Korea. It is the first time that photos of North Korean victims are on public display. Japanese photojournalist Takashi Ito visited North Korea over 10 times since his first visit to Pyongyang 17 years ago and met with victims of Japan's wartime sex slavery. He is the only person who has met face to face with 14 North Korean comfort women to hear their testimonies. Because I'm a Japanese man, some victims were hard on me. A woman with a scarf on her head came straight to me and told me her experience. One of the victims that he vividly remembers was Jung ok -sun, who was still carrying physical scars and tattoos forcefully branded on her by the Japanese. I thought she was being fashionable with her scarf, but later I learned that she was hiding scars left behind by a Japanese soldier. Her bodies and even the inside of her mouth were covered in tattoos. He hopes the exhibition can raise awareness on the unheard voices of North Korean victims across the world. The exhibition also features photos and stories told by 10 comfort women from South Korea, compiled by documentary filmmaker An Heryong. Ahn presented them next to each other in careful sequence that focused on the emotional dimensions of the surviving victims. The exhibition, with about 40 photographs on display, will run until March 11 and is open to the public for free. Lee Min-sun, Arirang News.